Wedding speculation turned into confirmation earlier this week when Prince William announced his engagement to Kate Middleton. Now the speculation turns to the ceremony itself and, of course, to the wedding gown and what many, will, many believe will be the social event of the year in 2011. For a look at what we might expect, we're joined from Toronto by Alison McGill. She is the editor-in-chief of Wedding Bells magazine. Thanks a lot for joining us today, Alison. Thank you for having me. So t first of all, tell us what you know about the royal couple. Well, the royal couple, I think, are charming and dashing, and I think that they uh, prove proved that to us this week with their engagement. Uh, they've been together for eight years. They seem like a very grounded couple. Kate and William have been together for a long time. And they seem to really know each other, and they seem comfortable with each other, which I think came across in their press conference. Uh, what do you think of um, William giving her uh, his, uh, his late mother's reign? Well, of course, this has been a topic of much discussion, and personally, I think it's lovely. I, I know the sentiment behind it, and I know William wanted to have his mother involved in that. And obviously, he, him and his mother had a tight bond, and uh, I think it's great, and I think it's a feel-good story, and I can tell you that there's a huge run on Sapphire engagement rings right now. Yeah, I think uh, one of the shopping channels is offering one for $35. So. <laughs> yeah, there's lots, of, uh, there's lots of real ones, and there's lots of replicas out there on the market. Absolutely. So, when when do you think this is all going to take place? Well, from what I've read this morning, the speculation is actually targeting towards late April, uh, which is a surprise for me. I was thinking maybe June. I thought July was pushing it. Um, but the rumblings this morning are that it's going to be the last week of April. If not, it will be closer to a summer wedding. Um, location, of course, has not been announced, but it has been speculated it will be Westminster Abbey because Kate was spotted there last week. How much pressure do you think was on uh, the couple to, to get this done now? Well, it's interesting because, the, you know, there's been a lot of chatter about how they have been going out for eight years. And, of course, Kate uh, adopted that unfortunate moniker, Wady Katie, that uh, the media dubbed, gave her. And, uh, I, I mean, I think that they're smart. Uh, 28 is certainly a great age to get married, actually. It's sort of the average age for Canadian couples to get married, according to our Wedding Bells reader stats. And um, I think the time was right. They took their time and they've done it right. So uh, hopefully this one will be long lasting. I think they're a fantastic couple. How do you think the perception of um, who the, the prince should marry has changed from when uh, Charles and Diana were first engaged and this idea of, of the innocence surrounding Diana? It really has changed, hasn't it? It has, and I mean, Kate is a, is a commoner, as has been discussed, and we, we've known that. They've been going out for eight years, as I've mentioned. And, and I think that, uh, you know, Kate is a modern woman, and they're a modern couple in that they got to know each other for those eight years. They actually had a little bit of a break from each other in 2007. Um, so they sounds like they've waded through their issues, and I mean, Charles and Diana, they had a huge age difference. You know, their engagement was so very, very different from this, and this is why I think that Kate and William are going to have a success story. What about speculation around the wedding gown? Oh, there's so much. I yeah. mean, everybody wants to know about that dress. Whatever Kate Middleton chooses, uh, whoever the designer is and the style, I, I can guarantee you it's going to change the face of, you know, bridal fashion. Diana did that in 1981. We didn't see a shift again in bridal fashion until Carolyn Bissett Kennedy in the late 90s. And Kate Middleton, she's a stylish woman. Um, everyone is clamoring to make this dress. And it will be a showstopper. She's a stunning girl. And she will look fantastic. I, 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 everybody just wants to know. And apparently the dress designer is, is, you know, steps away from being announced as well. So there's all kinds of excitement to come. Has the entire royal family, as far as you know, embraced her? As far as I know, they have, of course. Uh, you know, I don't know for certain, but, you know, I believe that the, the Queen obviously gave her blessing on this. Charles made a joke, like they've been practicing at this for a long time, and he's thrilled that they're engaged. Camilla uh, is excited. So we've had some comments from various royals that would point towards that they are embracing this. They're excited about the wedding. And, of course, you know, Britain is, you know, beside themselves. And this is going to be a huge event for them. Could children be far off after the wedding? Um, I think that you may see the couple having children soon. Uh, again, they've been together for a while. You know, I'd love to see them sort of have that first year of marriage uh, and travel and do things. The rumor is they're going to be living in Wales. William, of course, is still with his, uh, you know, fostering his career with the RAF. Um, so we'll see. Okay. Well, we really appreciate your time today with this. Alison McGill, editor in chief of Wedding Bells magazine. Thanks so much. Thank you.